this is my membership program and uh, in this membership i will provide you complete video tutorial and the source code of the project and the project based video tutorial i will provide you and you know that uh, here we have a just i finished dotnet core rest api angular and uh, you know dotnet blazor and uh, entity framework core and sql server ms test unit html jquery and css and all videos are providing uh, i provide you uh, complete video tutorial and the complete source code in just 800 rupees for the indian users and the dollar 15 for the other country users but now just i covered uh, .NET core first of all and the rest api and .NET blazor first of all and just after that i will provide you angular and the react and just after that i will provide you uh, html css and jquery and the js video tutorials now the rest of the things is remaining uh, this is not only a course based uh, you know membership it's it will i will provide you a lifetime journey based courses i mean to say that uh, only 800 rupees um, is just 800 rupees and i will provide you lots of courses not only these i will provide you more so you get always uh, a new video tutorial and uh, you you can say a uh, new source code of the project so uh, this is my membership and uh, you can join it by just filling this form so just fill this form that is full stack development uh, and your name your email id or contact number transaction reference id order id paypal id and uh, if you are from belong from india just pay 800 rupees for an indian user and i will uh, you know if you are uh, belong from other country just pay using paypal this is my paypal id uh, this is my paypal id now just after that i will uh, share you the content in in your mail okay Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and uh, today I am going to uh, teach you about the chaining methods in ASP.NET Core and this is my uh, uh, e-commerce shopping cart project. This is your uh, shopping cart app and uh, shopping cart applications, dot domain, infrastructure, persistent and presentation layer and you can say this is a clean architecture based project with the CQRS and immediate app uh, library. So in this video tutorial, just I'm going to tell you about uh, extension methods and uh, and uh, method chaining in uh, uh, in project app. So method chaining is a process through which we can just communicate with the uh, you know um, one by one controller. So here we have a builder dot services dot register controller, and just after the register controllers, you know that uh, register controller is a method, and just go to the definition first. And register controller is a method through which we can just uh, assign the controller to rendered as the output. So here we have a service dot add controller and uh, which controller you want to prefer that is add application part. So so that you can just assign a new class here and that class is the add application part mm, and uh, you know that assembly reference assembly reference that is the shopping cart dot presentation. Okay. So that is your presentation that is a class library project here and assembly references class is here you can see and here we have a assembly is a static type property. So here we have a assembly and uh, you know uh, this is your controller to register controller is a method. Okay so similar like that I want to register uh, remaining methods like register options and uh, and any other okay. So, so first of all, uh, I want to add fluent uh, validations. So here you can say register uh, fluent validation uh, uh, validation method uh, validation options. Okay, sorry, uh, register fluent validations. Okay, so that is the one uh, register fluent validation, and the next one is register mediator. Uh, so you can say register mediator okay and uh, this is and another one is uh, register cache okay uh, register caching okay and uh, the next one is uh, register uh, database context uh, register context register context 
and the next one is to register uh, background services so register background services and the next one is to uh, you know register middlewares okay and i want to register uh, authentication process register authentication and the next one is to register services okay and the next one is register repositories okay and the next one is register decorators and next one is register objects register api versioning so these all are methods actually implemented uh, in the future videos so register apis uh, api versioning okay and the next one is to register open api okay so these are the method to which we can just uh, implement one by one okay so i want to uh, implement first register fluent validation similar like uh, similar like that uh, register options okay so the first one is uh, register fluent validation is a method under the uh, fluent validations so fluent validation uh, is a class you can say is a static class under the extension method so just add a new class and that class name is fluent validation extension dot cs file and under the uh, just create a static class similar like that uh, because extension method class is a static class and also here we have a method public static i service collection and register fluent validation is a method that is a register fluent validation and uh, that is this service dot i collection okay and add fluent validation is a method uh, under your you know uh, okay so later on i will discuss on this topic first of all i want to add a method chaining here so that is the fluent validation extension okay so just resolve it similar like that you can add a register media tab so just copy that and add a method here that is media tab extension so new empty file media tab extension dot cs file now just create a static file here now just after that i want to add a method and that method is register mediator okay so also i want to resolve this problem later save this now the next method is register caching and here we go uh, caching extension just empty file cache extension dot cs file and make it a static method here now just after that i want to register this uh, extension method here i want to implement a caching so later on i will discuss on this topic again save this now the next one is to register context so again context extension dot cs file now make it a static class here register context file so 
also this is the topic for the letter i will discuss and uh, in uh, context file i will use uh, you know um, sp dot entity framework core okay and the next one is to register background services so just right click on it add a new empty file here and that is background extension background service extension dot cs file and make it that static class also register the background services and just return it return services okay save this now the next one is register middleware so add a middleware here middleware extension and just use static here now middleware extension i want to say that i want to add middleware uh, these all are middleware you like the course properties here so that's fine it's uh, nothing to change and next is authentication register authentication so authentication extension authentication extension.cs file now make it a static file first authentication extension i mean to say that you can add authentication services like jwt so jwt where default is a method so just add install a jwt packages microsoft asp.net core authentication jwt where latest version okay we will later on uh, we will discuss later on on this topic also token validation parameter is here so okay so we will letter uh, configuration is here so configuration you know you can use the configuration here so i configuration and that is the configuration here and you can just pass it from the fluent validation program.cs file that is builder dot configuration okay register services and you can see in the fluent validation uh, and that is authentication extension is resolved now register services so you can use service services extension services extension dot cs file now make it static file okay and here we go for the service extension so just i want to use uh, public static service collection and that is register services this is our service collection okay and return services okay later on we will discuss on this topic and the next one is register repositories so just copy that and add a new empty file repositories extension repository extension dot cs file and make it a static class and uh, here we go for the uh, repository extension so public static i service sorry i service collection and uh, the name of the services is registers repositories under which you can just add i service collection return services that's cool 
now the next is register decorators so decorator extension .cs file now you can first of all make it static now decorator extensions is so you can add these are the decorators so we will de later on I will discuss on this topic on the decorators and the next one is register file checks so add a new empty file that is health checks extension.cs and make it a static class first oops okay web application builder register health checks so I service collection that is I service collection services services okay and make it comment now the next one is register api versioning so extension method and new empty file api versioning extension dot cs file so make this as a static Oops. and here we uh, api versioning extension is here we go so just make this code as a comment okay and the last section is your register open api so extension method add new open, uh, open api extension.cs so here we go for static and just go for the static of register open api okay here we go now this, this these all are my uh, pattern chaining process through which we can just register all the extensions here which is related to the services so that is the builder dot services dot register at all our register options fluent validations media tar caching context background services middleware so one by one we will discuss on this on this topic like how to add fluent validations uh, how to use fluent validation and what is the use of the fluent validations okay so see you in the next video where we will add these topics